Okay, so this is going to be actually meatloaf. I was talking to my friend Heather on MSN, and I said meatloaf, and she didn't know really what I was talking about because she lives in the UK. So I told her I would do this video, and I thought um, you guys would be interested because this is, like, really easy, as always, with my um, any cooking videos. And I do have a cookie, two cookie videos coming up tonight if I have to edit them and try to upload them. YouTube wouldn't upload them, so... Um, you start out with a pound of hamburger, and I had to put mine actually in the microwave just to dethaw de it. I can't even talk. Um, so you put your meatloaf in a bowl. Like that. And then you're also going to need um, some milk. I use um, a half cup milk. You're going to need one packet of onion soup, and you're going to use this dry um, I like the Lipton onion soup, but you can use whatever you like. You're going to need two eggs, which I'll get these out now. Two eggs and then a couple pieces of bread or buns or whatever kind of bread you use. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to measure everything out and then I'll be right back. Okay, and I also forgot, um, you're going to need like these French fried onions. And I love the French's ones. This is optional. I put this on top after my meatloaf. Um, is mixed and everything. Some people put ketchup on it. I think that like warm ketchup is gross. So I've always put um, fried onions on top of mine, which is amazing if you try it. Um, so I have my half cup milk. I'm just going to pour that in with my meat. I'm also going to take my two eggs. Just crack them. And then I'm going to take... Um, one of my onion, dry onion soup mix, or dip mix. You can use that for soup or dip. Um, so I'm going to take that. And I hate these envelopes. Let me get to this. Sorry. Take your onion soup, and you put that in as well. And then I'm going to mix that. And then I'll add my bread afterwards, because I don't like my bread to get really that soggy. I want it to soak in the meat first. So mix that, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so I made, um, mixed it. Sorry, I was talking to my son. So I mixed it all together. Now I'm going to add my bread. Um, normally, I just guess, as you guys probably know if you watch my videos, I don't really measure anything. I'm going to start out with four pieces of bread. Um, you can use buns, hot dog buns, whatever you have. It doesn't really matter. Just break it up into little pieces. Throw it in with your meatloaf. It's pretty boring. I'll pause this and I'll show you after I'm done. All you do is just break this bread up and once you get enough in there, mix it. And then you can add more or less, whatever you think. You want it like a really thicker consistency and you're going to want the milk and the eggs to soak up into the bread. You'll be able to tell. So I'm going to do this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so after I finished um, adding my bread, and I did add five pieces of bread total um, in here, um, then you're going to want to get your meatloaf pan. And I use this because I put carrots and stuff, like, around it. I don't know. But um, let me grab the spray. Okay, then you're going to want to use a nonstick spray. This is just, obviously, generic brand. Spray your pan generously because meatloaf has a tendency to burn and stick. Um, then all you want to do, sometimes I'm going to show you how to make stuffing, my homemade stuffing as well. Um, sometimes I'll put the stuffing in and then the meatloaf over top of it. Um, I didn't really feel like doing that today, but um, I'm just going to do the meatloaf now because I'm kind of in a hurry. So just take your meatloaf, already mixed. Just make sure it's already mixed. Sorry if the camera's going. Dump your meatloaf into your bowl. And then you can shape it, make sure your hands are clean. Shape it into something like that. And then this is like everybody loves my meatloaf just because of what I put on top of it. So let me wash my hands real fast. Okay, so then I'm going to take my French's, um, French fried onions, and these are amazing. It's like same onions you could use on like green bean casserole or anything like that. Oh, 
my hands are so greasy. Sorry. Okay, so you open those, and I take a generous amount because we really like them, and I just push them down into my meatloaf, the top of my meatloaf. Don't worry about them burning or anything like that. Um, they are going to get a little bit more brown, but um, yeah, it's fine. So just place them on the top. If you don't like French's onions or whatever, um, a lot of people put ketchup on there. It's just something that we just don't tend to like. I like my ketchup cold, if that sounds weird. Okay, so that's what my meatloaf looks like. Okay, so this is going to be a really fast um, way to make homemade stuffing. This is the way I make it all the time. Um, my meatloaf is in the oven already. You're going to need bread, salt and pepper, um, a big onion, and a stick of butter. Let me go grab it. Okay, I use this butter. A lot of people say, oh my god, I use so much butter when I cook stuff, but it's cholesterol free. It's a little bit better than like pure butter. So you're going to need about a stick and a half of butter. Um, you're going to want to take your stick. I just put mine in like a little saucepan and put it on the stove until it's melted. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have that on low, and I'm going to take my onion, and I'm just going to cut it really, really fine. Normally, I have celery as well in my stuffing. I do not have that right now, so I'm just going to use, like, maybe celery seed or celery seasoning. You're drinky. Yeah. Oh, this onion's being southern. I always take the first really thick layer of onion off, and I hate cutting onion. So chop this really, really fine, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my onions are cooked, and my butter's melted. I'm just going to throw those in and add some salt and pepper. I'll show you when I do that. Okay, so the butter, the onions, and the salt and pepper. I put a lot of salt or a lot of pepper in there, so if it looks a little brown, that's why. Um, I'm going to let that cook until the um, onions are a little bit soft, and then I'll show you what to do with the bread. Okay, so I always cook my stuffing in something that has a lid so it cooks faster. I'm going to take my bread, and just depending on how much stuffing you want, I'm going to take five pieces or six pieces right now. Just break them up, and again, just throw them in the, in the bowl. Okay, so I finished um, breaking my bread up, and I ended up using seven pieces. I'm going to add some more salt and pepper. And I use normally a lot of pepper. And then my onions are still sautéing, and I would definitely recommend to sauté like celery if you have it, because it tastes a lot better. Um, so, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to take my onions, and they are hot, so be careful, and I'm just going to pour them over my bread. And then you're just going to mix them until your bread's completely, like, covered with the butter and the onions. And then after you do this, um, put the lid on it, and I bake mine normally for about 45 minutes, so by the time um, my meatloaf is done, then everything will be done, and I'll show you what everything looks like when it's cooked. And again, with the stuffing, I would definitely add some um, celery to it, add to the flavor, and um, yeah, I'll show you what my meatloaf looks like when it's done. Okay, so it's a little bit dark, I do apologize. There's my meatloaf. I made some instant mashed potatoes. There's how my stuffing turned out, and then I made some gravy. So, good? Yeah? Kevin? Good? Here's mine.
Where's Dad? How is it, hon? That's good, honey bun. Thanks. Porter, you want meatloaf too. You're bad. Good boy. He's a good boy. Look, there's Odie. Can you guys see him? You want meatloaf too. Don't tell Dad I fed you at the table. <laughs>